Hi guys, I'm glad you are interested in my tutorial. I am Art Invader. I am a digital artist from Germany. I regularly post art and short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. I am also an NFT artist. You can find my Art Invader Crypto Cat collection on OpenSea. Feel free to check it out. In this tutorial, we will create this kinetic text animation. On my YouTube channel you can find a Cinema 4D and a Blender version of each tutorial. In the first part of the video we create the texture with Photoshop. Then we will create the animation with Blender. Finally, there is a bonus on how to edit the animation with After Effects. Let's go Arties! Creates a new project with 4000 by 4000 px Unlocks the background and inserts a new layer for the text. Draw a text box and write down a term of your choice. The text must be black. Adjust the text to the format and duplicate it. Hold down the Alt key and move the text down. Select all the text layers and press the icon at the top to center them. Select all text layers and rasterize them and then connect the layers. Select the Gaussian blur to blur the edges. Then select all the planes and connect them. The file is ready for export as a PNG file. Now we switch to Blender. Extinguish the light, the camera and the cube by pressing the X button. Then adjust the working area. Go to the left end of the window until the mouse becomes A+. By dragging to the side, a new window appears. Change the view to the shader editor. Insert a plane object. Switch to edit mode to edit the plane. Right click on the tarp and select subdivision. Insert the value of 10. To make the animation look good in the end, we need more segments. For this reason we repeat the process. Now we switch back to object mode. Scale the plane. Enter the value 2 for X and Y. Press the blue icon on the right and add modifier. Select subdivision. Select the plane and create a new material. Then add image texture and connect it to the base color port. Then add the text file we created with Photoshop. To see the texture, we have to change the shade or view. Search for texture coordinates and mapping and insert them. Connect the UV port to the vector port and then the vector port to the vector port of the image texture. Scale the texture by setting X and Y to 3. Then insert displacement. Connect the color port to the height port and then the displacement port to the displacement port of the material output. Change the render to cycles. Press the red icon material properties and go to settings. Select displacement only there. Change the viewport shading to see the displacement. Set mid level to 1 and scale to minus 0.2 so that the plane is transformed upwards. Press the second icon on the right and go to Exposure. Enter the value 2.5 there so that we see something in the view. 
press on the blue tool on the right and enter a value of 3 for levels and 5 for render so that we get a super quality render. Right click on the canvas and select shade smooth so that the edges are smoothed. Add a point light so that we can see what the plane looks like. Move the light up and adjust the brightness. Select the tarp and search for noise texture. Connect the noise texture with displacement. Set the scale value for the noise texture to 2. Then scale the tarp with the mouse in the z-axis. Search for mix RGB and set it between noise texture and displacement. Change the mode to add. Then search for RGB curve and connect it to the image texture. Then connect the RGB curve to the color 2 port of the add. Move the RGB curve as far up as you like. Now we animate the plane. Search for mapping and connect it with noise texture. Then search for texture coordinate and connect it to mapping. Set the frame rate to 120 so that the animation is 5 seconds long. To animate the tarp, we need to animate the rotation in the Z axis. Select the value 0 and set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Move the slider to the end of the animation. Then enter the value 0.5 in the z-axis and set another keyframe. In order for the animation to run linearly, we must now adjust the animation curve. To do this, press the icon in the bottom left corner and select Graph Editor. Then select Mapping so that the curve is displayed. Then mark all the points of the curve. Go to Key. Interpolation mode and select Linear. Go back to the Timeline mode. In the meantime, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I have Patreon. There you can support me as an artist. You can choose between two packages. With the first package, you have exclusive access to all my Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial files from YouTube. In the second package, you also have access to the YouTube files, but also to my Instagram artworks. You can see inside the file how I work and what my tricks are. You also have access to my animations and 3D objects within the file. I will upload in both packages, several times a week new projects. Therefore, it will be especially worthwhile for you. Thanks a lot for your support. Now we create the texture and colors. Set metallic and specular to 1 in the material. Set Roughness to 2.0 Darken the base color so that the colors come out better later. Change to World Delete everything except the world output by pressing the X key. Then switch to Cycles. Search for background and connect it to the surface port. Then search for environment texture and connect it to the background. Select an image that you want to use as an ambient light. I'll link you to the file I used in the caption. We don't need the light anymore. You can delete it.
Set the strength value to 3. Press the second icon and go to Exposure. Select a value there that fits. That's it. The animation is ready to render. Press the key combination Ctrl plus F12 to start the render. Now we come to the bonus part of the video. Insert the animation into Adobe After Effects. Search for hue slash saturation. Set the value to 40. Duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the D key to change the opacity. Set the value to 20. Then search for the effect edge glow. Set the value edge detect to 1000. Then select an image with stars and position it appropriately on the animation. Set the blending mode to add. Then add the destroy texture and position it appropriately on the animation. Set the blending mode to lighten. Finally, we make a loop out of the animation. Select all the layers. Press the right mouse button and select Pre-Compose. In the View window, press the right mouse button and select Composition Settings. There you double the length of the animation. Then duplicate the animation. Press the right mouse button and select Time, Time Reverse Layer. Move the second layer to the end of the animation. Now we have a perfect transition. Great, we are done. Well done. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.